in the depths of the ocean, a marine biologist conducted an experiment that would forever change our understanding of the power of belief and the limitations we place upon ourselves. With a simple yet profound setup, he divided a tank into two sections using a clear fiberglass partition. In one area, he placed a solitary shark, a fearsome predator known for its relentless pursuit of prey. In the other, he introduced a school of small, innocent fish, oblivious to the danger that lurked just beyond the transparent barrier. As the experiment began, the shark, driven by its insatiable hunger and predatory instincts, immediately attacked the fiberglass partition, desperately seeking to reach the helpless fish on the other side. With each powerful strike, the shark's body collided with the unyielding barrier, sending shock waves through the water and reverberating through the tank. Yet, despite the ferocity of its attempts, the shark found itself rebuffed time and time again, unable to penetrate the invisible wall that separated it from its prey. For an hour, the shark persisted in its frenzied assault, its determination unwavering, even as its energy began to wane. The small fish, meanwhile, swam peacefully in their section of the tank, blissfully unaware of the life and death struggle unfolding mere inches away. They darted and played, their carefree existence a stark contrast to the shark's increasingly futile efforts. As the experiment progressed over the following weeks, the marine biologist repeated the scenario dozens of times, each iteration a testament to the shark's indomitable spirit and the power of instinct. However, with each passing trial, the shark's aggression diminished, its attacks growing less frequent and less intense. It was as though the once mighty predator was slowly resigning itself to the reality of the impenetrable barrier, its spirit broken by the constant reminder of its own limitation. Eventually, after countless attempts and countless failures, the shark simply gave up. It ceased its attacks altogether, swimming listlessly in its section of the tank, a mere shadow of the apex, predator it had once been. The marine biologist, having witnessed this remarkable transformation, then made a crucial decision. He removed the fiberglass partition, eliminating the physical barrier that had separated the shark from its prey. Yet, even in the absence of the tangible obstacle, the shark remained unchanged. It made no attempt to pursue the small fish, no longer driven by the primal instincts that had once consumed its every waking moment. Instead, the shark remained trapped within the confines of its own mind, imprisoned by the belief that an insurmountable barrier still existed between it and the object of its desire. This powerful experiment serves as a poignant metaphor for the human experience, a reminder of the ways in which we, too, can become shackled by the limitations we impose upon ourselves. Like the shark, we often find ourselves facing seemingly insurmountable obstacles, our dreams and aspirations thwarted by the setbacks and failures that punctuate our lives. And like the shark, we may eventually succumb to the weight of our own doubts and fears, emotionally giving up and resigning ourselves to a fate that we believe to be inevitable. But the truth, as revealed by this simple yet profound experiment, is that the barriers we perceive are often nothing more than constructs of our own minds, figments of our own minds, Figments of our imagination that hold no true power over us. We build these walls ourselves, brick by brick, each failure and each disappointment adding another layer to the edifice of our own self-imposed limitations. And in doing so, we rob ourselves of the very essence of our potential the limitless possibilities that lie just beyond the boundaries of our beliefs. 
The story of the shark and the fiberglass partition is a clarion call to all of us, a reminder that we must never allow ourselves to be defined by our past failures or constrained by the limitations we place upon ourselves. It is a testament to the power of perseverance, to the importance of pushing beyond our comfort zones and daring to dream of a reality that transcends the confines of our current circumstances. For, in the end, success is often just one more attempt away, one more effort beyond the point where we would have otherwise given up. It is the willingness to take that final step, to reach out and grasp the prize that lies just beyond our fingertips, that separates those who achieve their dreams from those who remain forever trapped within the prisons of their own making. This is the essence of the message conveyed by visionaries like Dr. Joe Dispenza, a man who has dedicated his life to exploring the untapped potential of the human mind and the limitless possibilities that arise when we dare to challenge the beliefs that hold us back. Through his groundbreaking research and his transformative teachings, Dr. Dispenza has shown us that we are the masters of our own destinies, the architects of our own realities. He has demonstrated, time and time again, that the subconscious mind is the driving force behind our behaviors and our outcomes, the invisible hand that shapes the contours of our lives. And he has provided us with the tools and techniques we need to rewire our brains, to break free from the limiting patterns of the past, and to embrace a future of our own design. So let us take this lesson to heart, and let us apply it to every aspect of our lives. Let us be the sharks that refuse to be imprisoned by the phantoms of our own creation, the warriors of light who dare to swim beyond the boundaries of our comfort zones and into the uncharted waters of our own potential. Let us be the change we wish to see in the world, the living embodiments of the truth that anything is possible when we align our minds, our hearts, and our actions with the unshakable belief in our own greatness. For, in the end, the only limits that truly exist are the ones we place upon ourselves. And the moment we find the courage to shatter those barriers, to step out of the shadows of our own doubts and into the light of our own truth, is the moment we become unstoppable. It is the moment we reclaim our power, our purpose, and our destiny, and set forth on a journey of limitless possibility and unbridled potential. So let us go forth, armed with the knowledge that we are the masters of our own fates, the creators of our own realities. Let us embrace the challenges that lie ahead, knowing that each obstacle is but a stepping stone on the path to our own greatness. And let us never, ever give up, even when the road ahead seems dark and the destination uncertain. For it is in the crucible of our own struggles that we forge the strength and resilience we need to achieve our dreams. It is in the depths of our own doubts that we discover the unshakable faith that will carry us through the storms of life. And it is in the face of our own fears that we find the courage to rise above the limitations of our past and embrace the limitless possibilities of our future. So let us be the sharks that swim free, the warriors of light who dare to dream beyond the boundaries of our own beliefs. Let us be the change we wish to see in the world, the living proof that anything is possible when we align our minds, our hearts, and our actions with the unwavering belief in our own potential and let us never forget the lesson of the shark and the fiberglass partition, the powerful reminder that the only limits that truly exist are the ones we place upon ourselves. For it is in shattering those barriers that we find the key to unlocking our own greatness, and in embracing the limitless possibilities of our own potential 
that we discover the true meaning of freedom, of success, and of life itself.